In a shocking and tragic incident, a young woman named Alice Wood, aged 23, has been found guilty of the murder of her fiancé, Ryan Watson, aged 24. The incident occurred on the night of May 6, 2022, near their home in Road Heath, Cheshire. This case has garnered significant attention due to the nature of the crime, where Wood used her car as a weapon against Watson. In this video, we will delve into the details of this heartbreaking event and explore the factors that led to this devastating outcome. The events leading up to the tragic incident began with a birthday party in Hanley, Stoke-on-Trent, organized by the Headway Brain Injury Charity. Both Wood and Watson attended the party, with Watson working as a support worker at the charity. According to witnesses, Watson was described as a gregarious and outgoing guest, while Wood was perceived as somewhat cold. During the course of the evening, tensions arose between Wood and Watson. They had been drinking alcohol, which only exacerbated the situation. An argument ensued over who would drive them home, and would accuse Watson of flirting with another woman at the party. This jealousy-fueled dispute would ultimately have catastrophic consequences. After leaving the party, Wood and Watson made their way to their home on Oak Street in Road Heath. The argument continued to escalate, with shouting and door slamming reported by neighbors. As the situation intensified, Wood decided to use her car, a Ford Fiesta, as a means to express her anger. CCTV footage captured the horrifying events that unfolded next. Wood reversed her car, narrowly missing Watson. However, she did not stop there. Seconds later, she drove at him again, this time knocking him onto the bonnet of the car. Astonishingly, Watson managed to walk away from this collision. But Wood, driven by her rage and jealousy, pressed on. She drove at him a third time, ultimately dragging him underneath the car for a terrifying 158-meter journey along the road. Finally, Wood came to a halt and approached a nearby resident, pleading for them to call an ambulance, confessing, I think I've run over my boyfriend. It was a chilling and heartbreaking scene, one that would forever change the lives of those involved. Following the incident, Wood was arrested and charged with murder. Throughout the trial at Chester Crown Court, she vehemently denied the charges, claiming that Watson's death was a tragic accident. Wood maintained that she did not realize he was trapped beneath the car as she drove away. The jury carefully considered the evidence presented to them, including the CCTV footage and witness testimonies. After less than eight hours of deliberation, they reached a unanimous verdict, Alice Wood was found guilty of murder. The presiding judge, Michael Leeming, remanded her in custody, warning her that she may never be released. The devastating loss of Ryan Watson has left his family shattered. In a statement read out in court, they expressed their deep sorrow and pain, emphasizing that no sentence could ever compensate for the life that was taken away. Watson was described as a vibrant, caring, and fun-loving individual who had a promising future ahead of him. His family and friends mourn the loss of his presence and the unfulfilled dreams he will never have the chance to pursue. The motive behind Wood's actions was rooted in jealousy and fueled by alcohol. The combination of a heated argument, fueled by alcohol consumption, and Wood's perceived jealousy over Watson's interactions with another woman proved to be a lethal combination. Detective Inspector Nigel Parr of Cheshire Constabulary emphasized that Wood deliberately used her vehicle as a weapon, fully aware of the consequences. Despite the evidence against her, Wood has refused to take accountability for her actions, further compounding the tragedy. Alice Wood's conviction for murder carries a mandatory life sentence. Judge Michael Leeming made it clear that she may never be released from prison. The judge also highlighted the importance of considering the minimum term Wood must serve before the parole board will assess her suitability for release. Wood's sentencing is scheduled for January 29, when the court will determine the appropriate punishment for this heinous crime. The case of Alice Wood and Ryan Watson serves as a grim reminder of the devastating consequences of unchecked jealousy and the dangers of acting in anger. It is a tragedy that has left a community and a family grieving for a life cut short. The impact of this event will be felt for years to come, serving as a painful reminder of the fragility of life and the irreversible consequences of impulsive action.